afternoon. I'm Adrian Miramontes. You're watching Adrian Miramontes tonight. So I'm very glad y'all could join us. So let's get started. One person was injured when a helicopter crashed near an Oxnard, near Oxnard on Saturday morning. The crash was reported at 9.44 a.m. An agricultural worker witnessed the helicopter going down near a nursery off Gonzales Road and Victoria Avenue, according to the Oxnard Fire Department. On the ground, the helicopter was in flames and set off a small grass fire, said the Oxnard Fire Department Chief Sergio Martinez. Firefighters have dosed the blaze. The pilot was able to climb out of the helicopter before rescue crews arrived. He suffered a leg injury and was taken to the hospital, Martinez said. The injury did not appear to be life-threatening. A Boeing 737 aircraft arriving at the Naval Air Station in Jacksonville, Florida from Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, skidded into the St. Johns River on Friday night. All 136 passengers and seven flight crew members on board are alive and accounted for. Officials say at the Naval Air Station, Jacksonville said in a statement, 21 adults were transported to the local hospitals with minor injuries reported. Non-critical status is what we had for 21 individuals transported to local hospitals, Jackson Fire and Rescue Department spokesman Tom Francis said. Officials did not immediately say what caused the plane to leave the runway. During a news conference, Captain Michael P. Connor, the commanding officer at a naval air station, Jacksonville, said that the cause of the mishap is not yet to be determined, he said. The aircraft passengers were in a mix of civilians and military personnel. I think it's a miracle, Connor told reporters. We, we could be taking a different story. After securing the passenger safety, Connor said the crews began to contain any jet fuel leaks, according to the Associated Press. The jet went off the runway at 9.40 p.m. Eastern Time, was in shallow water and not submerged, the Jacksonville Sheriff of Place said on Twitter. Democratic pres presidential nominee Pete Buttigieg was interrupted several times by hecklers shouting anti-gay messages during a speech Friday evening in Dallas. The South Bend, India Indiana mayor, who is gay, was speaking at the Dallas County Democratic Party's Johnson Jordan dinner when he was interrupted several times by protesters, at least some of whom appeared to yell anti-gay messages according to the Texas Tribune. And I quote what they said, marriage is between a man and a woman, one shouted. Repent, another shouted, according to a post posted on Twitter by CNN reporter DJ Judd. Now listen to this. A woman allegedly swipes 1,300 thongs from Victoria's Secret. Police say a woman and a juvenile are under arrest after they were accused of stealing $21,000 of underwear for Victoria. <laughs> Victoria's Secrets. <laughs> For uh, um, uh, authorities in Lower Allen, Townsville, Pennsylvania, say 18 year old Elda Mercado and a minor allegedly walk into a Victoria's Secret store at the Capital City Mall. The <laughs> So basically, a woman just saw um, 1,300 thongs from Victoria's Secret. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. We just had a little... Sorry, we got off topic. Now join us for the Cinco de Mayo festival celebration in the Oxnard College tomorrow. We will have different reports giving you live coverage of the event. Hope you guys join us then. We're gonna have live coverage. Um, we can have like a lot of reporters going in different parts of it, and it's in the college, the Oxnard College. So I hope you guys join. Here a lot of like games and snacks, and take your family. It's gonna be really fun for tomorrow. It started today. It's gonna end tomorrow for Cinco de Mayo. On to our weather with Adria. Good afternoon, I'm Andrew Miramontes with your weather for today. And as you can see, the 
this is our weather for today. Today was 71 degrees Sunday. It's going to be 68 degrees Monday, 66. And this is in Los Angeles. And Tuesday, 68. Wednesday, 68. Thursday, 68. And Friday, 68, 70. And uh, we look at our mountains. Saturday, 68. Sunday, Sunday, 60 degrees. Monday, 50 degrees. Tuesday, 53 degrees. Wednesday, 54 degrees. And Thursday, 52 degrees. And Friday, 52 degrees. So we're going up to the mountains. It's a really, really good chilly moment to go to the mountains if you're planning on going over the weekend or in the weekday and if you look at our max doppler here we have some little droplets of water next to the nevada las vegas valley and as you can see in these small towns over here are getting affected by it but as you can see it's moving down towards ochner california los angeles anaheim and palmdale near these cities and uh, I'm sorry about that. And as you can see, if we zoom in towards over here, let's oh, I'll have some difficulty zooming in. Sorry, oh, there we go. This is affected right as of right now. And on Friday, we have a chance of rain because that is going to be going down to Oxnard, California. That's going to do it for the weather for today. I'm going to send it back to you, Adria, with the sports final. <laughs>